Good afternoon everyone, today I'll be sharing with you some ideas on how to paint your wooden pumpkin ornaments. So in your kit you'll get a wooden ornament like this, of a different sort of pumpkin shape, and I'm going to give you some ideas on how to paint them. This first one I'm going to show you how to do a Jack Skellington face. So, even though know, it is a light color wood, I'm still going to first prime it white, which I did on the reverse side, and to get it to be the sort of level I wanted to be, I did a couple of coats because the white can come out a little bit thin. So for this next step, I'm going to draw Jack's eyes and facial expressions. So let's get to it. And now you can sort of sketch it out beforehand if you wanted with pencil. But if you got a really steady hand, you could just go right into it. So for Jack's eyes, they're not perfectly round when you're sort of doing like the angry face, they're almost kind of shaped like a kidney bean. So you sort of just want to go... You want to go up in the corner. So... This also might take a few coats. Right, so just like a little kidney bean of an eye. So, this is going to do a bit of a scoop down and round it at the corner. Round it at the top corner and sort of make it round at the bottom. But you sort of want to make it have a bit of a dent at the, the top. Right, so that's the basic outline. And then you're just going to go ahead, fill that in, and darken it. If after you're done the first coat, you have to, you might have to go back over it to do another coat. Once you get the kidney bean sort of shaped eyes, do the nose is real simple. You should just sort of do two little tiny diagonal lines for the nostrils. Alright, and to do the mouth, we're going to do a bit of a squiggly smile. Doesn't have to be perfect. Right, and to do the stitch-like part of the smile, I'm actually just going to use a toothpick and just add the sort of signature Jack Skellington
bring that to a bit more of a point using my toothpick. And so there you have your Jack Skellington pumpkin. And most bags come with these little self-adhesive stickers to provide if you wanted to. You could add a little bit of flair to it. Alright, I'll show you some more painting ideas. Alright, so for this next one, I'm just going to do a bit of a traditional style pumpkin with my orange paint. If your kit didn't have orange paint, all you need to do is take a bit of yellow and red and mix it until you get your desired orange pumpkin-y color. Um, you can even use the lids as your little mixing palettes. Because I happen to have the orange, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Like I said, it does go on thin, so this might take a clip or two, so I'm going to go and speed up the camera. Light prime my classic pumpkin with the orange. Okay, and once you get the coating to the color that you like, I did maybe about two or three coats of the orange on it. Um, you can sort of still see a little bit of the wood, but I don't mind that because it sort of just looks like the natural coloring of a pumpkin. So for this one, I'm going to just do a classic jack o' lantern. You know, the triangles for the eyes and the nose. So I'm going to use black paint for that. You could use yellow if you think yellow will show up good. It'll sort of look like um, the jack o' lantern with a light, like the candles lit inside of it. But I'm going to stay with the black so I think the black will cover it good. Like I said, if, you're, if you don't feel steady with the paintbrush, you can always draw your triangles with a pencil first to sort of line up. And if you feel like the paintbrush isn't cutting it like it's too wide, always use a toothpick. You just sort of can sketch out. So just the one triangle eye. as well. Now we're going to do the big smile. We're going to do a bit of the teeth, of course. Big smile. Give me like one more tooth down there on the bottom. Connecting it. So that's your nice little classic Jack Lantern face. And then you can just go right ahead and fill in your little outline. And then for the finishing touches, I'm just going to add some bit of green to the stalk of it. You know, if you don't have green, you should have a bit of yellow and blue. Let's go ahead and mix that up. Or you can make this stalk brown, leave it as is. Up to you. I'm just going to 
get my paintbrush. It's always a good idea that when you're using different colors, just to keep a little bit of water next to you to clean off your paintbrush in between. and if I wanted to I could draw a leaf on the top or if in your bag you might have little leaf stickers you could add them. I actually don't have leaf stickers but what I do have is a little Halloween owl. So these might be in your craft bag, not necessarily this one but craft stickers like these that are sort of self-adhesive. You could just add that to your ornament to give it a little bit of character, so I think I'm gonna actually stick that one right on top of my little Halloween hoop. So that is your very simple classic jack lantern pumpkin ornament. <laughs>